hello people hope you are doing well welcome back to my channel it's me sue henry back again with a new video if you're new here please consider subscribing and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it and in today's video it's a diy on how you can make over your kitchen countertops without breaking your back you can do it in a cheaper way that i'm going to show you using marble contact papers that will make your kitchen look expensive and very nice also without breaking your bank and on a budget as you can see in today's background guys i did this by myself i did this makeover by myself watch the video till the end to know how i achieved this look in my kitchen here are my marble self-adhesive papers i got this from Kilimall. two same color and one different color before placing the marble paper, I'll have to clean the countertops, therefore I'm using the Magni Multipurpose Cleaner. Once they are clean, I'll use a kitchen towel to dry off the remaining water on the countertops to ensure that the marble paper will not be placed on water. It has to be placed on a dry surface. <music> it's now time to unseal the marble papers. They are usually sealed very well because the Kilimall people usually package your things that you order from them very finely very well to ensure that they are safe as you can see once i'm done i'll be checking if the surface is dry so that i can start placing the marble paper this is how it looks on the inside and this is how it will look on the top and then you'll just be peeling Before you peel, ensure that you take the measurements of the place that you want to place the contact paper so that it can be easy for you to place it. After that, I'll cut the right measurements that I got. You can use a scissor, you can use a razor, what you are comfortable using. I will then peel one edge of the paper. Never peel a large part of this paper because you need to remove air as you place the paper on the wall or on the counters once you stick you need to remove the excess air in the paper you can use a visa card you can use the cards that we get in the supermarket that we get rewarded points it helps in removing air At that point I have a socket so I'll have to cut this paper around the socket so that I can still use the socket even after placing this marble paper. This paper is easily removable as you can see you can remove it very easily. Actually it's heat resistant up to 170 degrees. Also it's waterproof. So you can wipe it with water, you can clean it, it's easy to clean. As you continue placing this paper, you will continue peeling at the back so that you can have a part that will be sticking on the wall or on the surface. It's easily done that way than peeling the whole paper at once and then it will be just a bother when placing it on the surface.
Always ensure that you take measurements before you cut this paper into pieces. This will make it easy for you to make your work neat and easy. For you to cut this paper in a straight line, you can use a ruler or you can use scissors if you are good in maintaining a straight line. so super excited after achieving this first look on the wall on to our next marble paper we also have to take measurements before we cut this paper into pieces to avoid wastage and also getting the right measurements of the surface that we want to place this paper you can take these measurements using a ruler or a tape measure whatever you have it's what you can use for me, I used a ruler and a razor to make demarcations. The paper wouldn't fit the place as I wanted, so I had to cut the paper into other smaller pieces so that I would first cover the area beside the wall first. that was done it was easy for me now to place this paper on the other side which was the large one
After I'm done placing the marble paper around the sink, I'll use a silicone, which is adhesive sealant, around the sink to prevent water from getting between the marble paper and the countertop. And this will make the marble paper stay for long without getting damaged. For the sealant application, I used my fingers to seal the silicone all around the sink. Once I was done, I used a blow dryer to try and blow out the excess and the remaining air between the marble paper and the countertops and also to make the adhesive much stronger. I went all around everywhere that I had placed the marble paper. Before I reveal how the place now looks, I'll just show you how it was before. This is the before. This is how my countertop used to look like before the marble paper. Just have a look. So that you can see the transformation that happened after the marble paper placement. Please comment below and let me know how you think about this transformation. <music> I also applied marble on a table that I usually place my breakfast items, which also looked very nice after the marble placement. We have come to the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you have grabbed one or two things that you can do so that you can make your house look good it doesn't have to be a lot of money so that you can have a happy place a smart place a place that looks nice until the next one bye don't forget to subscribe